Hey guys, Bluebridge here, and today I'll be previewing our match against Ghent and looking at the games ahead, the tough games, and I'm going to be asking the question, will we know the real Chelsea after our next four or five sets of league games? So, let's get into it. <laughs> So tomorrow we start our Europa, I keep saying Europa League, the Conference League campaign. Obviously we went through the preliminary rounds, but this is the um, for the proper stage, the group stage now, or the league stage as they call it now, where it's similar to the Champions League, where I think the top eight go through. We play four games at home and four away. Money making scheme, if you ask me. I don't get it, but hey ho. And then... Um, you know, we will be playing a team who were in the flood many years ago, Noah, and, and it's coming up soon. But tomorrow, we'll be playing Ghent. And um, Ghent are a Belgium side, um, decent team, but, you know, one that we should really be beating. If it was in the Champions League, they'll be in pot D, and we're usually in pot A. So that's the sort of different levels that we are seeing at the moment. No real household names, but they do have a familiar name. Good Johnson, yes, the son of Ida Good Johnson, and his name's Andre Good Johnson. He plays up front for them. Their style of football is like an attacking brand of aggressive football. But um, even with our second string team on paper, we should be no match for them. But we still got to turn up. And what I'd like to see us actually, because obviously we, when we played against Barrow, we although we made eleven changes, the style was still the same, and it was an impressive performance. And if we can keep up that the performances with a different eleven or wholesale changes, then you know what? Um, I'm going to be having faith in uh, Maresco because he's obviously embedding that style of play, and everyone in the squad, no matter who it is, is getting used to it. And that bodes well for the future as well, because if we have injuries, someone has to step in and they know the role that they have to play, then it should hopefully be seamless. So, um, and the other thing is, if we win this this competition, we can say we're the only team in the world to have won every single trophy going, domestic and European and world club, on the world club stage as well. So, who else can say that? So I think we did this by design so that we can make a little bit of history. Um, so uh, he was asked about, I saw, I saw his press conference. He said, obviously, this is um, Enzo Moresco's first European adventure as well. So it'll be good to see how, how he gets on. And it'd be great to finish it with you know his first uh, um league campaign or cup and uh, no, managerial campaign at Chelsea to be finishing that with a trophy so that'd be good for him but I'm not um getting above myself at the moment because obviously on paper we are the best team in this competition but if football was on paper then you wouldn't have these shock results but we still got to, got to do the business and we still got to prove that we are worthy of winning this competition so anyway, um, the competition out of the way. Um, uh, I want to just concentrate now a bit on our next upcoming fixtures because after the Forest game, which again on paper we should be beating Forest, although they had a great result against Liverpool the other week, we've got a, a few games coming up which are going to prove how far we are in this project. I know I saw a comment by Emmanuel Petit. Um, today, which I totally agree with. He said, look, Chelsea have had a great start, but we won't know how good they are until um, the next um, set of um, fixtures. Because I think in the next few weeks after that Forest game we play, we've got, we've got to face Liverpool away, I think it is, Newcastle at home. We've got um, Manchester United. OK, Manchester United, I'm not doing great, but we've got a great away to Manchester United. They haven't got a great record up at Old Trafford. So we got to try and change that. And they may have a new manager by then, so you never know. So it could be a totally different team that we're facing than the Ten Hag team. And we also got Arsenal, who are going really well at the moment. So that will kind of gauge how we're doing. If we can get um, at least, we've got out of this possible 12 points, if we're looking at between six to eight points out of those 12, then progress is, is being made. But 
you know, because we, we struggle to beat the, the bigger teams. I don't think we've beaten one of the bigger teams for a while now. Um, I'm not put, putting Tottenham in that bracket because we haven't beaten Liverpool for, I don't know how long. We, we've had a lot of draws with them, got fresh last year, 4-0, 4-1. 4-1, I think it was. Arsenal, we haven't beaten for ages. Don't want to get back to that stage where we kind of, we went through a period where we couldn't buy a win against Arsenal. Then when, when Drogba and Co came along, it went the other way. Where Arsenal couldn't win against us, so we got to change that. You know, we got to fix that record and bragging rights as well. And um, Manchester United. Okay, we beat Manchester United last um, out in when in the last few minutes we threw due to fancy to Cole Palmer. Um, and Newcastle, we haven't been. We usually have a great record at Stamford Bridge against Newcastle, but last year we got a, got a point and then we got fresh. Because when really you look at it, we got fresh 4 1 by um, Newcastle, we got fresh 4 1 by Liverpool. Was it 4 0 or Newcastle? I can't remember. 4 0 or 4 1. 4 1 Liverpool and 5 0 against Arsenal. So we got heavily beaten in those three games. So um, we need to um, do something about that. So, and and I'm living a moment, like I said before, there's no point in saying what may happen. If things do change and we see that um, Chelsea are not picking up points against those bigger teams, then maybe we can say, yeah, we're not quite there yet. Because obviously we're not, I, I keep saying, I don't expect us to be challenging for the title. People are getting above themselves by saying that. But, you know, if we can win a few of those games against the bigger sides, it will give us that confidence. So if, if we come away, I said eight points out of 12, if we come away with 10 or even 12, then you can start dreaming. But until then, we just need to you know, stay in our lane a bit. We haven't done anything in the last couple of seasons to be deserved to be talked about as, as title challengers. And going back to the, tomorrow's game against Ghent, um, obviously, we know Cole Palmer is going to have a nice rest because he's not been included. Wesley Fofana is going to, not going to be included in that neither. So there'll be no Wesley and there's no Lavia. I don't know why Lavia. I know Lavia, they're managing his time, but I think this would have been great tournament for Lavia to play, actually, because um, at the moment, it looks like Caicedo and... Um, My, Moise Caicedo and, and Enzo Fernandez look like... Uh, number or midfield pivot at the moment so Alavia this could have given him some game time some minutes so I think that was a bit of a, a, a curious one not to include Lavia in, in the um the squad for this campaign um he did mention like the likes of Casadai are going to be getting chances and um Dewsbury Hall as well he was missed he missed out in, in the squad so this is kind of their tournament so they need to show what they can do in this tournament and like I said in my video when we played against Barrow this is going to be an audition for these players because these players are going to be knocking at the door saying look I want to be playing Premier League football as well and Enzo Maresco did say that um he hasn't got a cup team and a league team as the season goes on those players who are primarily playing in the cup at the moment, they will be getting minutes in the league. They will be getting starts in the league. So it's going to be just a matter of patience and, and, and just getting... Um, once the games are coming thick and fast, especially over the Christmas, you're going to probably see quite a lot of rotation. Um, someone asked about Mudrich. He said, look, Mudrich isn't a guy who's losing confidence, but he's still... There's bits and pieces of his game that still need to be get better before he can be trusted for a first team start and we all know that we can see that in a moment so I'm hoping he said he's a good trainer so I'm hoping that he can improve and you never know what would happen in the future for him so guys you get excited for this tournament playing against teams like Noah and other teams that you probably haven't even heard of do you think we're going to win it are you, you know are you confident about our chances of winning it or do you think there's some banana slips along the way stick your comments in the section below don't forget as always guys like subscribe turn on post notifications and be notified every time i make a new video so take care bye bye